Hey YouTube, it's Anya, and I haven't seen you guys in a really long time, but I hope you are all doing well and enjoying your new year. I thought I'd share a recipe today that is really special and tastes really good to me and my family, of course. I thought I would share this recipe with you today. It is called Chicken and Linguine, and I went to cooking class, and my teacher, Jet, taught me how to make this recipe. So whenever I make it, I always think of her. So I hope you guys will join me in the kitchen today and make this on your own. So to start off this recipe, I'm going to add a cup of chicken broth into this dish. I've just added about a four pound chicken into this dish. And I'm using a whole chicken because in this recipe we're going to use the dark and light meat that we're going to shred apart. I think it adds a lot of flavor and um, I think it makes this recipe better than as would a plain chicken breast. So we're going to add some flavoring to this and we can start by sprinkling some crushed red pepper flake which is going to add a nice heat to the chicken. So let's kind of sprinkle it all over. Next, I'm going to add in a tablespoon of basil, and this basil is just going to also add an herby flavor. So I'll sprinkle that. After that, I'm going to add in three cloves of minced garlic. Last but not least, I'm going to add in two small onions that I thinly sliced. I'm just going to kind of put it around the chicken. It's going to get kind of caramelized when we bake the chicken in the oven, and I think it's super good. As you can see, there we have the bird with the onions and all the flavoring. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bake this uncovered in a 400 degree oven for about 45 to 55 minutes. It'll get kind of golden brown on top and you'll start smelling the onion. It'll kind of perfume the house. So while our chicken's cooking in the oven, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get started on the spinach. For this recipe, you need a pound of spinach. And honestly, doesn't that look like a lot of spinach? It really, it really does. But that means that you're eating a lot. Spinach is full of iron and a lot of vitamins and minerals, which are really important for energy and everyday health. So we're gonna start by steaming the spinach. And as you can see, I have a large pot here with some water that's just kind of lightly boiling. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna salt it. Here is my spinach steamer. You can use it for other vegetables too. So we're just going to kind of pop it on here if you have one like this. And I'm going to add about half. It might not fit so easily, but the thing about spinach is that it steams so quickly. This will be done steaming at most a few minutes. And what we want to do is I'm going to put the top on and let it steam for about 30 seconds, at which point I'm going to stir it with my wooden spoon to kind of get the bottom to the top. And as you can see, the spinach is already decreasing from the, from the amount that we added originally. It'll slowly just kind of sink to the bottom and there won't be much spinach left. So the spinach is done and as you can see, there's hardly any left in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this pot out and I'm going to put the spinach in a bowl. I'm going to start by draining the spinach. So I'm going to take a clump and I'm just going to squeeze the water out because a lot of water kind of accumulates into the spinach. You're not going to want that in your pasta because um, it'll just make the pasta kind of watery. We have a pot of boiling water and we're going to add our pasta, but before that I want to add plenty of salt. I'm going to add in a pound of linguine pasta. You want to get a nice al dente taste to the pasta, so there's a little bit of a bite um, but you don't want it to be hard or not fully cooked. See, I have the fully cooked chicken here, and this chicken, since it's a little over four pounds, took about an hour and 15 minutes, just to keep that in mind. Um, typically a three pound chicken should take about 50 minutes. So, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna shred it and add the chicken into the pan. I have the chicken and the onions, and I'm going to add in the spinach that, um, we, uh, that we steamed earlier. Then I'm going to add in a cup of Parmesan cheese. And I'm gonna give this a good mix. So after that is pretty well mixed together, you can add in your pasta, and then you're gonna wanna give this a stir with all the pasta, and then we're gonna serve. So here we have the completed pasta dish, and I just topped it with a little bit of Parmesan cheese. 
So I hope you guys enjoy and you can make this. So a little bit about this recipe, if you guys are curious, is that it serves about eight to 10 people comfortably. So with that, you can have your friends, maybe you're having a lot of family over, and they're all really gonna wanna eat something hearty, comfort foody. This is a great recipe. It should take about an hour and 30 minutes total. So while your chicken is cooking in the oven, you can steam your spinach, you can grate some Parmesan cheese, you can get your pasta ready, all that. And so then all you'll have to do is shred the chicken. Um, also, you can find the ingredients for relatively cheap, um, depending on what you buy and where you purchase it. So really the only ingredients you have to really consider purchasing at the store is your chicken, pasta, spinach, and Parmesan cheese your garlic and all those other things you might typically have in your pantry. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys and you enjoyed watching it and I will see you all later. Bye!